Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going through upcoming gacha games for July 2023 and beyond. Now, some of these we have confirmed release dates for, some we were expecting, but it looks like they've been delayed, and some have been going through closed betas and stuff like that, so we're expecting release dates pretty soon. Now, I apologize, I didn't get around to doing this video during for June releases because we've just been super busy with Honkai Star Rail, but now that con on the content side of that game, it's slowing down, I don't have as much content to make, we're going to get into a bunch more of the variety variety gotcha covering new games and stuff like that so if you have any other games to add to this list please let me know but uh yeah let's get into it And before we get into it, guys, I have to thank Terra Fantasy for sponsoring this video. They've just had their version 3.0 go live. So if you do want to jump in and play it, I will have a link in the description that you can click on and get playing today. Now, this new update is set in a new world called Domain 9, which is a land set in a forgotten space time zone, which has allowed it to remain very similar to ancient China due to its seclusion. The first map inside Domain 9 to explore will be Farewellville, which includes many new explorations, puzzles, and bosses to challenge, but also many new rewards, like the brand new relic, the Speedwalkers. On top of the new zone, we also have the new character, Leo Hua. As the domain guard, she shoulders the important mission of protecting Farewellville. In combat, she's a fire DPS unit with fast-paced attacks, making the most of her unique weapon, the Pine Comet. And the next thing is the Smart Servants. These will be your new pals in battle. Simply unlike them from a side quest and then you can have many servants options including your longtime companion Mia and finally if you are a returning player you can get your own special event and battle pass for bonus rewards to speed up your returning adventure and once again guys a massive shout out to Terra Fantasy for sponsoring this video all right first up we have Snowbreak containment zone now this is one we've been watching on the channel for I want to say about a year and a half now um, but we do have a confirmed release release date for this one, which is going to be July 20th. Now, what is this game? This is essentially a third person shooter, anime waifu collector type game. Uh, th that's the best description I can give it. Uh, you, you go around zone to zone, different areas, killing enemies, achieving missions, stuff like that. Now, I did do a sponsored live stream for it earlier, uh, about two weeks ago, so you can jump into there. I'll leave a link in the description. You can take a look at some gameplay and stuff like that. I have seen plenty of other people like my man Chaotic making content on this game, so you can definitely find out more if you want. But like I said, that game is due to release on July 20. Next up, we have King Arthur Legends Rise, which is a turn-based game. Most similar, I, I think, if you try to compare it directly to something, it would be Raid Shadow Legends in the aesthetic and the characters and the general feel of it. The combat is a bit different. It does use like a skill point type system, but it is still that turn-based type combat. Honestly, not a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. I actually quite enjoyed it. I do have a video on the channel as well uh, of playing through it. And I like the way this game sort of does like, like your idling and it, it's not just standing there waiting. They do this sort of like strafing type thing, which I think it just adds a little bit to it. But yeah, in general, uh, turn-based game, you've got like uh, an energy type system there where you get like sort of quote unquote skill points and then you consume them based on what skill you want to do with which one of your characters. And that is a basic look at King Arthur. Now, this one is due to open up in the open beta on June 29. Um, these games always do this, how they like start gradually releasing open beta access and then I I think it just opens up to fully everyone at some stage. But yeah, 29th is when most people will be able to get access to this one. Next up is Black Clover M or Black Clover Rise of the Wizard King. Now, this one is currently available uh, in Korea and Japan. If you want to play it, I have been playing a little bit on the Korean version. I know my man Seton, I've seen Nagato and a bunch of other guys already covering the foreign versions of this game. So there is a ton of content over uh, like on this game already if you want to look up a bit more. But we were expecting this game to release in June, but we haven't had any confirmation. So it's looking like it's being pushed back into July, maybe August. We'll have to wait and see but this one is very close like i said if you want to touch and play a foreign version you can jump onto kr or the jp version and have a test of them honestly if you're a fan of black clover uh you're gonna probably enjoy this one think seven deadly sins grand cross but instead of the card matching system it's more of like a genuine turn-based type system where you have your set of attacks and you can use the attacks they have like a combo attack system and stuff like that but in general it think think seven deadly sins grand cross but more turn-based as, as opposed to 
card based. Next up is Tower of God New World. Now this one, I don't have a date for, but I, it just came onto my radar. Now this one is gonna be done by Netmarble. There was another Tower of God game that released earlier this year, which I just, I, I couldn't bear playing more than about 10, 15 minutes of it. Uh, but this one does look a lot better. Now, when I look at the screenshots, uh, and they've got a bunch on their YouTube as well, like character uh, introductions and stuff, but essentially what it's looking like being this one is an idle, uh, basically a standard idol type game think afk arena type core um, but you know you do have your characters it looks like they're gonna have more room to move around a bit eversoul maybe a bit more like eversoul take your pick afk arena eversoul that type of model is what it looks like being i could be a little bit wrong on that but it essentially looks like you've got your characters they all run into combat they auto cast spells and then they all have an ultimate gauge you use their ultimate and that's pretty much it. Now, some people don't like that. I personally love idle games, so I'm a fan of this. I will jump in and test this game. I don't know much about the Tower of God series personally. Um, I pretty much know nothing, so it'll just be a matter of jumping in and seeing if I enjoy the game. But that is coming. If you're a Tower of God fan, you can have a look at it because if you're like me, the last Tower of God game was really quite average in my opinion. So <laughs> hopefully this one does a bit better. And the final game we're going to look at, Dragonair Silent Gods. Now this one is another one of those idle type games, but I like games with this type of aesthetic. Now um, I'm going to jump into some gameplay over on FG 3000's channel because I saw him do a video on it. So I'll give you guys a look at some gameplay there. But essentially we're looking at another idle style game, which I'm personally cool with, but I love games with these type of character models. I love anything like beasts, dragons, anything like that. Like this thing looks sick. I love these characters. So this is definitely a game I will try as well. Um, you know, I'm just a fan of idle games. They're super chill, super easy to play. If they've got cool character designs, cool animations, good progression, give me a lot of free summons, then I'm going to have a bit of fun in them. So that is Dragonair. It is also launching on Steam as well. Now it's just gone through a beta that ended on the 27th of June, which is actually the day I'm recording this um, in Australia, at least anyway. So it, it is going to be available on Steam, so it's always nice when you can get a PC client for games as well. Um, but we don't have an official release date, so that beta was closing. So not sure on official release date, but I just wanted to show you guys some gameplay from FG over here. I'll leave a link to FG's channel in the description. Everyone should know him by now. He's he's just he's the man when it comes to new gotcha games. But uh, essentially, it looks like you place your grid of characters, and then you know it's idle, it's all going. But then the one catch is you do get to control your ultimates, and it, there's like a grid based system on casting ultimates so it's idle but it has that one extra layer of manual play inside of it which i'm pretty cool with so that is dragonair that's all the games that we've got coming out or expected to come out. Like I said, these ones, these last few, we don't have exact dates for, but I just feel like they're around the corner. I'll keep you guys updated if I do see actual release dates. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.